Hello everyone, it is your Prodigy Queen again, and we're back at it again with another exciting Prodigy video. This time, we're going to be looking at a brand new epic that is like a, um, a reformation of Chill and Char. And I'll also be showing you how to respawn the snow crates and snow piles quickly. Now before we begin this really exciting Prodigy video, don't forget to hit that like button, also to subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell if you haven't already. So as you guys know, Prodigy has been releasing these awesome new epics that are in the reforms of the previous ones that they have made, and they're not as animatic. Like, let's say, Mad Mischief. He is like a tiny, old, and not as, like, moving epic, if you get what I mean. Like, this one, he's, like, animated, he moves, there's, like, the fire crackling, and he's, like, so much more bigger than the original epic, if you get what I mean. I'll give you an example. So, look how big he is now. He covers from the top of the pot to the mythical plant to the lantern. Now, let's take a look at Magmus Chief. Uh, I have to find him. Yeah, of course, you have to find something before you can use it. Let's see? There he is. So look, now um, this, let, let's compare it. So this, from the top of the plane, it doesn't even reach the bottom of the um, lamp. And look look how barely it moves. Like, it's so tiny, and it's, it's just, like, not colorful at all. And this one sometimes like, a bunch more hues. It moves more creatively, and it's much better. That's, that's basically the point. I still yet have Arcturion to... To tame, but the epics that are like in the other side, the ones that are not the dragons. Oops, wrong place. Um. Okay. Oh, the the mythical epics don't have access to the epic subspace. That's sad. So, um, over here, I'm not a big fan of these epics. I only mainly like Magma Chief, the Divodile, and Flora Fox. I'm not really a big fan of Big Hex and R and the. Arcturus, but the brand new epics, you, you, I can barely resist them. I, I mostly like the um the new incoming one called Aura. It's like a reformation of Luma. It's probably my favorite one, apart from Shiver and Scorch and the one that looks like Eclipse. Um, and Titus, who knows what that might be? It'll be something amazing. I'm just guessing. All right, so I have the page for Shiver and Scorch open. It's a water element pet, just like Shiver and um, just like Chill and Char. Um, because fire and water, I mean, fire and ice, they combine to make water. So it's only fair if it says water element. So, um, you can find it in Bonfire Spire, Shiver, Shiver Chill Mountain, with all his mythical epic quests. So, it's heroic, and it's a members only, because it's the ultimate membership. I might be doing a membership giveaway soon. So, um, let's see... So, it's weak against four elements, powerful against one element, and it's neutral against two. So, this we don't care about, but this, look at this. Water is basically trash, unless it's a good water pet. It's like one, two, three, four. It's weak against four things, and it's powerful against just one thing. What's the point of having this unless you go to Bonfire Spire, apart from it being re really cute? So, it is pretty nice, though, and I really do want to get it. So, today, we will be taming it, too. So let's go right to our pet book, straight to the mythical epics. And um, we have Magma Hem. We still need to get Arcturion, but first of all, let's go to the mythical epic of the month, which is Shiver and Scorch. I really, li I really like this pet, by the way. So um, what we need to do, we need to collect four torn toys. Ouch! A torn toy? That's really sad. Now I want to tear a toy. Toys are perfect, just the way they are. Not like... Um, a bit too old for toys, but still, you shouldn't tear them. What's the point of that? Five dragon skills that must have fallen out instead of hurting a poor dragon for one. Sorry, I just stick by my dear Terrigan so much, I still can't forget him. Six warp dice. So, you know, like in the factory, um, in Skywatch, where they make the ice? Hold on, let me show you real quick. So guys, I managed to find a picture of this place online, and um, I put it into a paint application so I could show you guys, because it's quite far, I'd have to do a bunch of battles to get to it, and I would do that if you guys really wanted to see the entire place, but I'm pretty sure that you could see it from here. So if you go um, to the top, 
I believe, right corner of Skywatch where there's the um, cloud with the ice symbol, and you battle those two monsters, and then you go up. You can get to this place where it's the it's basically on top of Shiver, it's, it's on top of Shiver Chill Mountains, where there's like graded ice blocks, and it falls down into I believe Shiver Chill Mountains. So this is how the ice system works. So there's ice blocks coming from the factory this way, and then it gets graded just like you grate an old block of mozzarella cheese. So, um, so the warp dice must be something that, like, a flaw that must have happened in the ice. So let's go ahead and go back to Prodigy now, so we can go ahead and collect our Torn Toys, Dragon Scales, and Warped Ice. Okay, guys, our mission is to get the Torn Toys first, because I really want to repair them as soon as possible. I hate seeing things that are broken or torn. So let's go collect these. It's in Skywatch. Alright, so in Skywatch, there are these things called heart balloons and those giant crates where you have to turn the wheel. I'm pretty sure it must be inside one of those. So let's first take this really fun uh, zip line thing, whatever it's called. Oh look, a heart balloon. Let's go inside. Um, actually, let's not go inside. Let's go carefully over here. I don't want to go inside, but since we're here anyways, we'll go back and... Oh, come on! Why can't we just skip this battle? Hmm, maybe if I go here? Why, Prodigy? Come on. Are you really gonna make me battle this? No, I have to battle the monster. I think Prodigy finally patched this glitch that you have to battle it. Now, so, um, since we're already here, let's go ahead and battle it. Oh, we have this thing called Mythical Attacks now. You guys, we have the Mythical Attacks button, so we can now use our attacks in this in the separate space. You have your old epic attacks, and you have the Mythical Attacks. Attacks, not attacks. <laughs> so, um, let's go ahead and use our Mythical Attack, since you only have one. You don't have to really choose, so let's just answer this question. I hate that I had to battle this monster. Come on. So anyways, we use the spell. Uh, we, did, we did a pretty good deal amount of damage. I'm pretty sure if I just use a supernova now, I should be done. Please excuse me if I'm speaking too fast. I'll try and slow down now. Maybe not too slow. Let's see. Uh, I don't want to rescue this pet. I think I have a bunch of them already. It looks like a vanilla frosting, though, so it does make me feel hungry. Let's see. Uh, I think I should be able to defeat these now. Pretty sure. 52 health? You guys, you've got to be kidding me. You're serious, right? I mean, you're not serious, right? I say the wrong things at the wrong moments. Hey, at least he missed. Uh, let's see. So, um, if you were playing basketball and you missed the shot, but I told you, hey, at least you're still on the team, right? Would that make you feel any better? Well, of course not. So, Cloud Neek, how do you think I would feel? I mean, how do you think I feel right now about you staying here after I shot you three times? Well, he does, probably doesn't feel very good, so I'll let him go for once. He's too guilty, or he's been proven guilty. Let's open our chest, and uh, I don't expect to get any torn toys anyways from this battle. Cloudnicks are too imbeciles, and they're like too harmless, so they can't do anything. Oh, we got a frozen furl, though. Not bad for our um our Cheerion, so I'm not disappointed. Thanks, Prodigy. Let's take this lift. Uh, yeah, there's probably nothing there. So let's go back. Let's try this hut-looking thing. It's probably something inside this hut. Um, we'll pop that balloon later. First, let's go ahead and check inside this crate. It's not really a crate. It's like this turn wheel thing. We got, an we got frozen fur and a torn toy. Guys, this is just my good luck. We're, we're, we keep on getting mythical epic things. Let's go back to, um... So we have one torn toy, five, um, we have to collect five dragon skills and six warp dice, guys. There's a journey to go. But for the Arcturion, at least we got one frozen fur and one blast powder. I'm still happy. So, um, let's see, let's go all the way down. And let's go here. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and just battle this monster. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I finished the battle. Let's go ahead and pop this heart balloon now. And we got a frozen fur. Guys, why are we not getting any of this stuff that we're supposed to? We're supposed to get the torn toys and everything. Well, how come we're only getting frozen fur? I know it works for a benefit for getting Arcturion, but I'm trying to collect this. Uh, I don't know why this is not letting me to collect all that, but it's just, it's just like, not nice, you know? Prodigy, please. 
I'm on a quest to make a video to get one epic that's brand new, and you're helping me with another. Well, that's quite nice. I'm not saying it's rude, but our point here is to get another epic. So, uh, we have a heart balloon. So, let me go ahead and uh, battle this monster. We ca I think we have an all-out attack on hand, or we don't, but since we this is just a one monster battle, I'll be very quick, I promise. Let's go ahead and just quickly do this. Um, see... Okay, we think we nailed that. Yep, we did. And the monster gives us a hug as we go. So, let's use hot snow. Oh, we did a pretty good amount of damage. I think Monster Smash should finish off this hob now. I don't know why they made the hob so ugly, but the rascal or the rookus is so cute. In my last video, I accidentally made a little mistake, and you guys are so observant. You watch every part of my video, and you managed to find that mistake where I called the ruckus rascal. A rascal was its before name. I wish it was still rascal. Rascal is a pretty cute nickname, even if it means something bad in real life. You know, if you call a dog rascal, not necessarily that's something bad. You, you kidding me? 50 health? Oh my god. I'm just going to sit here in silence. Not even going to say anything. Okay, let's see. Alright, so we finally finished off the monster. We have a huge journey to go ahead. We, we literally only got one torn toy out of the four we need. And it's been like, I don't know, what, seven minutes of the video so far? I don't know. Let's see. So we really need to pick up our game, or we're going to take forever on this. Let's see. Okay, let's open our chest. Our chest doesn't really give us any more stars, though. So, I'm not happy about that. Alright, let's just pop this balloon now. We got a frozen fur? Prodigy, please! Give me something else besides frozen fur! Let's go to this Arcturion. Look, we literally have three-fourths of the frozen fur we need. And we have we only got, like, one torn toy. Why? Like, we need... The only thing we need is torn toy. Maybe I should change this video to getting an Arcturion instead. So, let's use our all-out attack on this hob, and I swear, if it's another frozen fur, then I quit. Nope. Alright, so let's see. Uh... Okay, there we got it. Okay, so we're using our all-out attack. Hopefully, it'll be enough with the Magma Hem and the Mystical. Probably won't help as much, but still, we should manage to nail these down. Okay, yeah, we did. So, it was it was a good thing the Hobbs are both the same level, because if you know one did uh, one died, the other one should obviously have died, unless it was some kind of weird glitch. So, let's see. 21 battle stars, yay! We didn't even do a single, we only did like one math question and we get 21 stars plus 10 more member stars. Shame, if it, if, if only the mystical, mystical were like right there, then it would have been very helpful. Let's go all the way down now and open this weird thing. Yes, we got a torn toy and a frozen fur! I'm really happy. So we com we completed a task and we have to find Allah. That's only for the um Arcturion. Let's say not right now because we're on the we're on the, the mission to get Shiver and Scorch and not Arcturion. I don't know why it sounds, sounds so weird. But anyways guys, let's go ahead and um fast forward over to the next place where we're going to find our next torn toy. Or, and maybe for Alright guys, I just battled those two monsters. Let's go ahead and head up here before this one respawns again. So let's tap on the heart balloon and hopefully we got a torn toy. Yes, that was worth the effort. Let's go ahead and head up now and just make sure we have no crates left. Oh, we do. So guys, um, here is the place where I was hoping we could find the warped ice. Because look, there's ice cubes coming and if you look at the map, Shiver Chill um, Mountains is right next to the... um. Skywatch. So I'm pretty sure that this, all this ice goes down and it falls to where the Shiver Chill Mountains is. Now I'm pretty sure you might be saying, what Prodigy mean that doesn't make any sense? But Prodigy has magic pets and everything, so I'm pretty sure this ice could also float sideways, just like uh, us wizards can fly with wands. So the warped ice comes out like this, so prob probably if it's like not the correct ice, it's going to go back in, I don't know. Anyways, let's just open this right here. Uh, a torn toy! Yes, we completed a task! Let's go track down Ulla. 
So, uh, let's trade with Ala. She is in Chimichal Mountain, so let's go trade with her. So we follow the music notes. Oh, first let's open the snow pile, because why not? What did we get? A warp dice! Yes! You guys, we, we, we really scored the jackpot this time. We got one warp dice already. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, so let's also check here, just because, like, why not? There's never a waste of time. Some blast powder! Okay, so let's go back. Oh, hello again. Would you care for a treat? They're my favorite snacks. So soft and so sweet. Well, good rhyming. But are you seriously eating a marshmallow flu? You're crazy, Allah. So two creatures ox accidentally fought over the same toy and tore it in half. Or they fought over the same toy and accidentally tore it in half. Sounds a lot like Shiver and Scorch, or a relation to Chiller and Char. So let's track this mythic now. Goodbye, young wizard. If you find some more clues, the next time we meet, I'll use them to locate the epic you seek. Now instead of going and um, tracking down Shiver and Scorch immediately, let's go for the dragon scales first. So let's try this place first. Nope, nothing. So let's try this to the uh the right. Let's say, okay, guys, I'm just gonna battle this monster and I'll claim whatever to this flower, and then we'll fast forward to the next place we need for our amazing dragon scales. All right, guys. So as you can see, we are at the flower. Let's go ahead and pop it open now. Yes, we got some dragon scales. So um, instead of going straight forward, let's go ahead and head down. And, uh, see, we have another flower here, so let's pop that open as well. I'll be right So, guys, it turned out we didn't need to battle the monster at all. We just got our dragon scales. I'm very happy about that. But, uh-oh, here we have a problem. We need to battle this tiny girl to go ahead. So, I guess we will need to actually battle this monster to go ahead. So, let's do that right now. Alright, guys, so I finally got to this flower. I battled the... The tiny girl that was right there, and it had something paired along with it. I think it was an ember. So finally, we can crack open this flower. Well, you don't crack a flower. It's crazy. So, um, anyways, let's go to the mythical epics. Let's see how much we collected. Probably like two or something. Oh, three. That's that's pretty good. So we have two more to collect. Let's just check up here, just in case there's anything. Anything? Nope. Nothing. Actually, there might. We might be onto something here. Let's go ahead and pull this lever. And let's see. So, um, let's go down. Since we have the boots of hot walk from the quests, we can go across the lava now. Oh, come on! We have to battle a monster? Wasted. Okay, so let's use this all out attack. So, um, luckily we have a calculator right here. So, normally I could solve this myself, but I don't want to waste time, so I can easily do this pretty fast. So, let's see. 536382. Let's see. 536382. I think that was it. Yep. Finally, we got over the skill, so we don't have to waste time. So, let's see. So, your team is all out attack, and... Hey, didn't we do anything? Oh, okay, so we defeated all of them. That's pretty good. I'm happy now. Hey, that's weird. The um Storm Element pet has less hearts than the Fire one. Usually, Fire pets are known for having less hearts and more damage, like, doing damage. But this one, but this time, the Storm Element pet had more, I mean, the Fire Element pet had more hearts. It's very, very weird. Anyways, I hope we don't, we didn't just waste an entire all-out attack. Just so we could get to the other side of this bridge. And no, we didn't. This, well, after all, no, we didn't. So we just have one more monster to battle. So let's do that real quick. I'll be right back. Alright, guys. I just finished the battle. Hopefully, I didn't just waste an entire all-out attack. And I battled a bunch of monsters for nothing. And yeah, I didn't. We did get a dragon scales. Huh, how unexpected. I'm very happy. So let's go to our info. And we just need one more dragon scale. And then we need to collect five more warp dice. Uh, let's go back down, and perhaps we could go back quickly before it respawns, and head up here, and, um, we could turn down the lever again. Yeah, let's go back quickly before it respawns, ah, stop shaking, Earth.
or whatever this world, whatever this world is called, Prodigy. Oh, um, how am I gonna sneak back? Oh God, we gotta battle the monster again. So guys, I'm gonna go ahead and refresh the page. I'll be right back, and then we'll go back to Bonfire Spire, the same place, and we'll find a new place to open flowers. Okay, guys, so I'm back. Let's head down over here, and let's see what we're what we're dealing with. So we have a pool of lava. Uh, and the monster. So let's see. We have to battle this monster and then we can sneak through and get this flower here. So let's battle this monster together since we haven't done that for a while. Well, not a while maybe, but like for quite a long time. <clears throat> so, um, let's see what we're dealing with here. So let's use an epic attack first since we only have one mythical epic attack and it won't really help us. So let's use, uh, Thermal Prism. Chill and Char, I trust you since we're looking for Shiver and Scorch. You know, it's Long Lost Twin. I don't even know how that's physically possible, but I don't care. Please just don't let us down here. And, yes, this should be enough to use just one more supernova and then we'll be go to go. Or good to go, not got to go. So I just love how the lava bubbles out. It's the exact same color. It looks very warm, so don't accidentally step on it or you'll be screaming for days. It hurts even worse than a Lego, trust me. I've had experience, just not with the lava, with the Lego. And I could just abstractly imagine how much lava would hurt more than a Lego. So be grateful that in a modern world, we only step on Legos and children only play with with Lego blocks instead of lava ones. Okay, so we won the battle. Let's see. We have 21 battle stars. Oh, yes, we got level 44. So 4 is actually my favorite number. So if if it's like 4.44 p.m., I always stop and make a wish. Hope um, I don't know this at 4.44 a.m., so don't, so, like, be glad about that. <laughs> so let's go ahead and go to the top now. And go here. Let's go down and let's open this flower. And what did we get? A dragon scales. Now we just oh we 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 just need to get like um so we got we got it. Yay! I'm so happy. Well, well why am I screaming about? It? So let's go ahead and trade now. So it's in Shiver to Mountain. So let's go trade. Follow the music notes. All right. So um hmm yes I see. Oh sorry about that. According to this calculation, we're close to figuring out their location. Oh something new. So let's go ahead and um give these dragon skills now. The skills from a dragon: one red, one blue, and one purple. Goodbye, young wizard. If you find some more clues, then the next time we meet, I'll use them to locate the epic you seek. All right. So now we just need to collect some more warp dice. So let's go over here. Let's head up. And, uh, we have a snow pile fresh to collect. So how much warp dice do we have already? So let's go here. Let's check. And, uh, let's see. So we need to collect five more warp dice. So guys, I'm going to, um, I'm going to battle both these monsters, open the snow pile, and then fast forward until we get all of our warp dice. Alright guys, so here we are with the snow lump. Let's open it and hope we get our warp dice. And yes we did! We also got a blast powder. That's pretty good. But well, let's go and um <clears throat> as you can see we don't have anything here. So let's go all the way back and uh let's go um back to uh Shiverchal Mountain so we can skip this battle. It's unnecessary. It's kind of like a scam, kind of. I don't know how to describe it. So, um, let's go here. Uh, I was hoping there's like a shortcut you could use. I mean, normally you shouldn't use shortcuts because shortcuts are not success. But I was hoping there's a way we could get around all these monsters because we've had to battle so much. Whoa, look how cool that Shiver and Scorch is. I like Scorch the most. I don't really like Shiver. And this doesn't really make sense because the body ends here with the tail is just attached from behind. So it looks very strange. Like they glued on a tail or something. <clears throat> okay, guys. Let's go ahead and battle this Neek here. So, um... Let's use an epic attack, totality. So create a line plot. So um, let's see. So that's seven. All right, let's see. It's, it's, I, I, you probably don't want to see, um, watch me doing boring math here. So 
I mean, it's not, math is never boring. It's just that sometimes it can take a while, and you just have, gotta have the patience to handle it. So, um, three fourths that would be six. So, it's right here. All right, let's see. <clears throat> so, uh. Pretty sure this is correct, and y yes, it is. The time was worth it. So, all, all the things in Prodigy, whenever you do a bunch of hard work, you always hit the jackpot, like get the best, get like the best reward for doing a bunch of battles. Like, um, Prodigy is a little bit about risk too. Like, if you have two paths in uh, in Bonfire Spire, and they each have a bunch of monsters in them, um. If you try if you try both, there's a chance that in both of them you will get the jackpot, which is basically the thing you're looking for. Like let's say if you're trying to collect gold, you will get gold in both the chests plus something extra, like a copper coin. I mean, if you really treasure copper coins, then that would be pretty good for you. Else, um then you you could still collect it and buy something cool for yourself to look stylish and be powerful in prodigy. So <clears throat> Let's see, sorry my throat is just acting up a little. Um, let's see. So, there we go. Okay, let's see. So, I'm pretty sure this is six over here, and the last one is eight. So, it's all. We got it! Finally, we completed this annoying skill. We can move on to another one that is hopefully, say, it, uh, like, hopefully it saves more time. Okay, so we finished the meek battle. I'm very happy about that. So, I can't believe we just tamed an, an entire epic in one day. I know it's not a big deal, and many other people have done that, but to me, I f it feels like it's an accomplishment. Accomplishment. Usually, it takes, like, a couple days for me to claim an epic that I don't play for, like, too long, because your eyes can get fried up, and it's bad for you. So, um, <clears throat> you guys, it's really good to stay determined. If you're really, like, if you're trying to complete all the quests in Prodigy at once, that's a really good goal to have, but sometimes you got to learn what's the difference between overdoing it and staying persistent. If you have an, an exam coming up and you want to complete your homework, you should complete your homework and then take a quick break and then study for the exam. And then the next day you'll be all set. If you overwork it and, and study all at once, you'll be so tired and you'll have a headache that on the exam you'll like feel drowsy and want, you'll want to sleep and <clears throat> who knows what. Like It'll just not be good. So uh, let's see. Um, let's see, I think it's three. Okay, yeah, we got it. So, this question, I just had to read it a bit before solving, because most questions are like, Ada had three cookies. She gave them each, she, uh, she gave one each to her friends and kept one for herself. How many friends does she have? That's pretty straightforward because you can easily calculate that Ada had two friends because she had one for herself and she gave two the rest. So basically the numbers in there matter. <clears throat> Over here, you kind of actually have to read the question, because if you if you mess up, then you don't get a second chance with an epic attack. So, let's see. So let's do something here. <clears throat> All right, so we got our answer. It's four. So don't ask how I did it. It's just like uh, you have some part of it in your mind, and it's just like, huh? How did you get forty-four all of a sudden? And you're like, oh, well, you did all these steps, and they finally understand. But it takes time. So if you solve it yourself, you would understand. So um, let's see. I'm just gonna like skip past this part. If you keep tapping, you can, you can actually skip all the annoying star stuff. So let's collect this ice pile here. We got gold coins and some more warp dice. Yay! So uh, let's go over to our pet team now, to the mythical epics. And um, we need four more.
more warp dice. Let's go up here where this angry yeti is standing. It's probably a statue of Bach, but they did a very bad job of doing that. So I'm going to go ahead and battle this Batabash right here. I'll be right back. Or Batarum. So guys, I battled that Batarum, and I got a warp dice and some blast powder. At this rate, I think we'd probably get all of Arcturion's items if we keep going. So let's go to Mythical Epics. <clears throat> Arcturion. So we, we we literally just need one more blast powder and we already have all the frozen first. So we're practically getting Arcturion for free as we go for Shiver and Scorch. So we, so we need four more warp dice. It's the same. It's very weird. So let's hide in this Christmas tree over here. Actually, I don't think we can do that. But let's just sneak up. And we have a crate right there. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to that crate. So we'll just need to battle the Squally. Luckily, I have an all out attack with me on the way. So we'll do that very quickly. See, and we we obviously cannot get this wrong. So this girl named Abdallah, she has two rectangulars. She can fill it seven times. All right. So um, let's see. Twenty-four times seven. It's one hundred and sixty-eight divided by twenty-eight. Six. So this should be six. And we got it. Yay. So we used our all-out attack. I just love how he bangs on the ground and is like, No, mommy, I want a dinosaur truck, not a pony one. And he's just like, he finally gets it because the ground cracks and the mom is like scared. Like, oh my, what a monster I have raised. Or like fire from, it's like the devil opposite of an angel. Um, I wonder if Prodigy's gonna release an angel pet. Oh, right, Aura is basically an angel, you know, like Aura, the halo. Oh, I, I double tapped, and I was so lucky, I got to click on the member chest. We got 300 gold, that's pretty good. Alright, so, uh, we got another warp dice, more blast powder. We completed a task. Let's, uh, track down Allah a bit later. First, let's go ahead and check what we got. So, um, we didn't get all our warp dice, but for Arcturion... Uh, we managed to get all the blast powder, so that's a coincidence. I'm very happy about that, too. So, um, let's go ahead up here. So, let's go ahead and sneak up here. And, uh, since there's a chest right there, we just, we'll just need to battle one of these monsters. It looks like we're going with the bottom one, since the top one didn't react immediately. Uh, let's see. And let's do an epic attack. Uh... I don't know, any, 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 okay, let's, let's just use totality, since I love Luma, she is a female dragon. Um, so let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and battle this monster, I'll be right back so we can open the crate. Alright guys, as you see here, I battled that monster, and as soon as I'm about to record again, I refreshed the page, so I had to battle it again. R.I.P. my time. So, um, <clears throat> got another warp dice, that's pretty good. So let's go here, I wonder how many times I'm gonna say, that's pretty good, but let's go inside this temple and check if there's anything in here. Nope, just a boring old throne. How about we go into this room? Probably there, there's something there, it's the end, so... Uh, if we find, oh, if we, if we, if we found an Arctic Claw, it's pretty nice. So hopefully we can go back and into that cave. Hope it still hasn't closed on me yet. Uh, let's head back. Um, so I wonder how much more we actually have to collect until we can get it. Let's see, Shiver and Scorch. We need two more, so I guess we need to check this sneak here too. A little sneaky. All right, so let's use a, a mythical, a, I mean, an epic attack, not a mythical one though. And these questions are very easy, so this will go back before you even know it. Go by before you even know it. Not back. Okay, so Luma is not that powerful. I still respect her though. She did. She tried her best. Hopefully, with a supernova, I can kill all these monsters. So. And you can, I think it's like so peaceful, and it's like roar, it's attack, and it's like, can I sleep now? And it peacefully sleep sleeps. Come on, Neek. Attack. I'm ready to fight. All right, so let's see. Uh, which one should I use? Hmm. You know what? I'm just gonna try. Like I don't know why I can't tell this one. So if it ends with a four, then um, 
Wait, no, I have the straightforward answer. It has to end with a zero, and... Okay, yeah, it's this one. You just have to add these two. I was, like, so confused. I thought it asked me to round something. Because of the previous Mad Mayhem video, I, I think it's the Mad Mayhem one, though. I might be wrong. You Come on! You're kidding! I Why, I sneak? You had to just make it 97 health. I'm trying to get on. This video is probably, like, 20-something minutes now. It's been a lot of time, and it's almost like the end of the day, but at the end of the day, all's well that ends well, as they always say in the quotes. So, let's see, um, solve that. That was very easy, because you could just check the end digits. It's a quick trick you can use to solve any addition problem. <clears throat> so, there's the Shiver and Scorch page right there in the Prodigy Fandom Wiki. So, we, our mystical leveled up two times. Remember when I was saying it was 44? So, the stars that are glowing, they mean that they're still in progress leveling, whereas the one that's 100, like me, is like a very old wizard about to die. But in Prodigy, you don't die. It's a very happy, nice game. Very peaceful and subtle, too. Let's go into this cave. Uh, nothing there. Oh, come on. Do I have to wait for these crates to respawn? You've got to be kidding me. Uh, okay, let me go back to, uh, Shiver Chill Mountains. And let's try another route. How about down here? Please let there be something. Nope, no snow piles. Okay, so let me go ahead and wait for the piles to respawn. I'll be right. Alright, all right, guys, so I, was, I was very, very, very lucky, and um, I can go through a battle, that's not the lucky part, but I found another crate. So, um, as you can see, I was, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and use an epic attack here. So, um, <clears throat> see, what is this? Okay, we got it. There we go. So please, a, a warped ice be there because I'm pretty sure this is the last snow pile I have, and then I'd have to wait an entire week for them to reset. I just have to have luck to get all of them. If I don't, then I don't know what I'm gonna do. Wait an entire week to get this awesome epic? No way! I'm getting this now. I'm gonna wait one hour if I have to for them to reset. All right, so let's use um, a supernova now. Ah, uh, what is this one? Okay, it has to be one of these, so it's this one. Yep, I was right. I just got a bit suspicious because the other one had four too, and it, and it perfectly matched. So let's see. The ice sneak is dead now, and so should the shade be. And yes, finally, for once, the spells worked in my favor. It probably because I started putting the groovy bandana on to become more groovy. The um, the the like. It gives me a little bit less power bonus, so I have to use like three attacks instead of two usually. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use this now. What did I just get? Oh, I got an old sock. It's been so long since I've got old sock. At this point, I'm not even mad. I'm happy. What? You're kidding me? We just opened another snow lump that was very rare, and we got just some of these like uh sh shiver coins. What? What's the name? Let's just check real quick because it's bad to not know. I don't know what the name is. Let me just check. Uh, shivers, I think. Whatever they are. Well, we got shivers and gold and a rare snow pile. You guys, you've got to be kidding me. So, uh, let's go ahead and look out, look around some more and see if we can find some more snow piles. Please, let there be more snow piles. We just spent so long and I don't want to find out. I have to wait another week all the way to get another So guys, I searched every corner of Shiverchill Mountains. I waited a couple days. This is like, I don't know, 
third or fourth day now so if this ever happens to you um i'm going to be showing you a way that you can make these snow piles respawn quickly so keep refreshing the page and if you're lucky you'll find a box or a snow pile um, well, one more technique is you go to the crystal caverns and you try searching there too because it's still a part and there are still snow piles there who, who, who said that you can't do that so go ahead and try that and hopefully that works for you so the main technique is to just wait a couple days and it'll pop up for you some people who got it they're taunting it around now they just waited or they're just lucky so uh, guys that's all for today in this video we tried to get um we tried to get shiver and scorch but we didn't exactly succeed because we didn't get the last two warp dice in the next video hopefully by that time we'll have gotten the other two ice and we'll be on our way to get shiver and scorch thanks for watching bye guys make sure to like and subscribe and hit the, hit the notification button subscribe to my channel as usual i think i said subscribe two times but that's all right bye <laughs>